In this video, we are going to derive and to prove the unbiasedness of the slope estimator beta 1 hat. So, beta 1 hat equals sum of xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar over sum of x i minus x bar squared if you forgot how to derive this please look at the video derivation of the ordinary least square estimator and in the same video you'll find out that we can actually rewrite that in a much more simple form x i minus x bar times y i over sum of x i minus x bar squared. Now we know that y i equals beta 0, the real beta 0, plus beta 1, the real beta 1, x i plus u. So we can rewrite the formula for beta 1 hat as sum of x i minus x bar times beta 0 plus beta 1 x i plus u i over the sum of x i minus x bar squared. Now I'm going to distribute what's in the first parenthesis, xi minus x bar. So first, I'm going to put the sum of xi minus x bar square at the front of the whole equation. Uh, this will make it more simple. And then we have the sum of xi minus x bar times beta 0 plus beta 1 xi minus x bar times xi plus xi minus x bar ui and everything here is in the sum now I'm going to break the sum so we still have xi minus x bar square at the front times sum of so we can get the beta 0 out of the sum because it's a constant xi minus x bar plus beta 1 oh, sorry beta 1 times the sum of xi minus x bar times xi plus the sum of xi minus x bar times ui. So a few things here. First, we know that this is equal to the sum of xi minus x bar square. If you don't remember what, rewatch the video for the first tutorial, which is a derivation of the ordinary least square estimators. Now, I'm going to be interested in that part, which is the sum of xi minus x bar. If I break the sum, I get the sum of xi minus the sum of x bar. We know that the sum of xi is n time x bar minus n time x bar. This is zero. So here this term is zero. And so this term disappears. Because beta zero times zero equals zero. So now we have that beta one hat equals 
1 over the sum of xi minus x bar squared times beta 1 the sum of xi minus x bar squared plus sum of xi minus x bar times ui. We can simplify this. And one hat equals, we see that we have sum of xi minus x bar square at the top and at the bottom. So this is just beta one plus the sum of xi minus x bar times ui over the sum of xi minus x bar square. So this is the end of the step one. We have another form for beta one hat. We can't use this to estimate beta one hat because we don't know what the real beta one. But once we have a number for beta one hat, we know that this number is around beta one and then there is some error around, e, around it uh, that depends on the UIs. So next step, we're going to take the conditional expectation. Which is the expectation of beta one hat conditional in X. So when we condition in X here, it means that x is considered as known. It's it's like a constant. It's not a random variable anymore. So if we do this, we'll have expectation of beta one hat conditional in x equals the expectation of beta one conditional in x. Beta one being a constant. This is just beta one plus the expectation of sum of xi minus x bar ui. ui is the only random term here because xi is known when it's conditional over the sum of xi minus x bar squares. And this is conditional on the x's. So this gives us beta one plus, and we know that the sum of x i minus x bar square at the bottom is like a constant, so we can take it out. So we have one over sum of x i minus x bar square. We can do that only because we have something conditional on x. If it wasn't conditional on x, we couldn't take it out of the expectation. Time the expectation of the sum of xi minus x bar times ui, conditional on x. Now, the expectation of a sum is equal to the sum of the expectation. So let me rewrite first the first part of the equation. we can put the expectation side inside the sum. So we get sum of the expected value of xi minus x bar times ui, conditional on x. And again, here xi minus x bar is constant because we, we have the condition on x. So we can take it out of the expectation sign. So we have beta one plus one over the sum of xi minus x bar square times the sum of xi minus x bar expectation of ui conditional on x. And here we are going to use 
SLR4, which is the expectation of UI conditional on X equals zero. So now this is equal to zero. So zero times anything is zero. So the whole term inside the sum will be zero. We have a sum of zeros. So everything simplifies to beta one. So this implies that expectation of beta one hat conditional on x is equal to beta one. It is unbiased. Note that we don't need SLR five for this proof. So even if we don't have homoscedasticity, if the variance of the error is not constant, we still have unbiasedness. In the next video, we are going to show the unbiasedness of beta zero hat.